out here at Fayetteville Motor Speedway. Glad to be back here. Had fun in Charlotte last week, but it's one of my favorite tracks to race on up here. Got the old girl unloaded. Got to get the lift and finish unloading all our other crap. Kenny Callum's on the way down here. He's going to come down, park next to us, and hopefully uh, he can make some laps in his car finally. He's still struggling with a brand new car. So get that all taken care of. I think uh, Jamin and Heather will be here. Thanks to Jamin for coming out to the house and helping get this turd ready. And we found quite a few things wrong with it. Uh, one of the biggest things we found was the uh, J-Bar. The way the pinion plate is on the J-Bar is made. No matter how tight you tighten it down, it still moves. So I don't know if it was a F up from the uh, manufacturer, which it's an all-star, or there's also like a spot for like uh, set screws to be put in, but I don't see how you can get a set screw or an Allen wrench in behind the J-Bar where they're supposed to go. So I modified it pretty much to make it like the weir setup and hopefully it'll uh, work out. We're gonna keep an eye on it tonight. Also, uh, went through the pull bar again, made sure it was set right. It's all good to go. So hopefully we will uh, have a fast race car again. Um, we've been doing pretty well with it. Uh, be glad to have it back where it was, you know, where we were fast every week, no matter what. So we'll, uh, Finish unloading here and get back with y'all. What you got, buddy? We got you some Powerade. Trying to beat the heat. There you go. You can leave it there. It's a cup holder. Good job. Got you some fresh kicks on, huh? It matches your shirt. Where you want to go? Old Kenny got here, we got him unloaded. We got Jonathan back there. He made it, old SNS Construction. Y'all need anything in the Fayetteville area, hit him up. Oh, other RTR car here tonight, thing is looking good. I love that purple chassis. Got dad helping him out, getting that gear changed. What you think, Jonathan? Hopefully he'll win tonight, man. Hopefully this gear change will put him, put him where he needs to be. Shit, we don't want him winning. We want me winning. Oh, I know that. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's going to be a win if he gets on the track. Next hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. He watches these videos. Might want to watch that. Yeah, hopefully Kenny will he'll get some uh, seat time tonight because he's been fighting the new car blues. He's he's had a had a time with this thing. Last time he came down here to fight with us, he uh, broke the yoke, brand new yoke broke it on the uh drive shaft uh 311 it was a little loose and car came up the track hit him in the left front and jacked it all up and then that car bounced off him and came and hit me in the passenger side door but well uh that's all in the past night we're gonna see what we can't do today we got my man jamin here shout out to him because he's the one that really made me come race tonight we got heather too Represent the race for heroes shirt. We're gonna see what we can't do out here tonight. Me and Elano Parks, Robert Realty. That's Doug. Because it's the 90s. Now the Margaret Hill and the Holland Hall.
since this car has been all year, the, the two things we found, the J bar and the pull bar, after that uh, first and second race we were down here, man, this thing's, it's a whole new animal again. And we're uh, second quick, I, we, uh, we, we had quick time, the caution came out and Durham got me. Uh, congratulations, Andrew Durham. Uh, I can't wait to race with you, man, because I know you, I know you don't race dirty. So this, this is gonna be pretty fun uh, race night. Track's really slick, uh, which means whoever gets to the corner first in one and two, pretty much gonna be the one to win tonight. So that's gonna be the drag race that uh, really determines everything on the uh, on the track tonight. So we're buffing the tires now. We got Dad put the buff tires back on. Caleb over here buffed them. Caleb and Ryan made the trip down. They're helping us out. So Kenny finally made some laps in his car, and the car looked pretty good. So all that being said, we'll go out here in the uh, feature and see what we can't do. And I uh, think we might bring home another uh, big check and picture. I know this one wants to be in a picture. Don't you, buddy? Rama brought her makeup. My makeup? Yeah, you brought your makeup for that picture, you know? We'll check y'all out later.
guys. Uh, not the night we wanted. Started outside pole, and uh, the top of the track was really slick. Anytime I got on the brakes, I just went right up to the top. I kind of got trained and fell back to fifth, I believe. And um, started reeling Donovan in. And every time I got a run on him or he slipped up the track, it wanted to. I would hit a tractor tire in three and four. But um, all in all, the third time I hit that tractor tire, it sent me around which uh, put me back in the back of the pack and uh, wanted to just ride. There's a car that went up the track and uh, decided to pass him. And he kind of just drove straight through us going into turn one for last place. Uh, kind of lost my temper a little bit. I was not happy about the call that was made. It was a shit call. It happens. We're just gonna move on from it. it, is what it is at this point. We're gonna get ready to go up to uh, Fairbury for the Prairie Dirt Classic with Ryan. We're gonna start a video of all that's gonna kinda happen tomorrow. And uh, we'll be filming up there from, should be like Thursday to Sunday or something like that. Um, not the night we wanted it all. Uh, We'll move on from it. Thanks for uh, the people that come by the bus. Uh, had some kids come by wanting autographs and stuff. That was pretty neat. I, uh, I don't know if I've put this out up, up here or not, but uh, if anybody's ever at the track um, and y'all want like a hero card, I've got hero cards. However, y'all, I mean, they're free. Just come and get them. But, uh, I'm gonna try to go get our money so we can get on the road and um, move on to the next one. Thanks for everybody uh, supporting us. Thanks for all the fans. Thanks for all the people that got my back. I see uh, what y'all are posting. I appreciate it. I myself don't need to say anything. I'm just gonna move on from it and uh, we'll be back. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And we'll see y'all later. Alright guys, so today's Monday, um, kind of had a little bit of time to cool off a little bit, and uh, think everything through a little bit better, if you will. Um, the whole situation, Saturday at Fayetteville, no matter which way you look at it, whether I was in the right or if I was in the wrong, um, probably could have handled the situation a little bit better. Uh, they uh, put the 28 back in front of me after he had literally drove over me and I wasn't gonna get in position back. So it parked me for the night. And I was not happy at the time, but looking back, I can understand why they did it. Uh, no hard feelings with the track. I know everybody probably thinks I'm pissed off of the track and everything like that. Fables probably still my favorite try to be at um and it just goes to show that there's no favoritism there at all um we all know i'm on the points championship out there we all know i've only missed two races out there since uh david mitchell's taken over and i just want everybody to know that we'll be back to Fayetteville and uh we ran our fastest laps in qualifying Probably shouldn't have touched the car for the feature, but we did. Um, I expect the track to be very, very dry slick, not like grease slick. So uh, that's on me. Um, really, I read the track wrong. I, I'll take the blame on it. <laughs> but uh, there just really wasn't anything I can do once I got hung out on the outside and I just overdrove the car and uh, Hit one of them daggone tractor tires. They're famous. But anyhow, I just wanted to clarify a couple things because I've uh, seen a few different posts from each side. And uh, like I said on Saturday in the video, it's not my place to run my mouth. I just want to kind of cool the coals off a little bit. 
and uh, keep on going. I mean, it is what it is. It's over with, but we're going to take the weekend off like we already had planned and uh, head on up to Fairbury for uh, the Prairie Dirt Classic. And hopefully we're going to meet some of the other YouTubers up there. Uh, I know uh, Tim Nash is going to be there. Hunt the Front's going to be there. Um, I'm sure there's probably a hundred other small youtubers like myself that are gonna be there so that'll uh it'll be a fun experience those guys out there in the in the midwest they uh like when i went out to i-30 out in arkansas that was the best race that i've ever seen in my life so we're uh we're gonna go have us a good time and uh we'll get back and regroup on my car and uh be back at fayetteville on uh I think it's the 7th of August, don't quote me on it. I can't keep up with dates. But uh, we'll go in here, finish editing this video, get it out for y'all. Um, um, we got shirts being made. Uh, I went through a company called Black Acid Apparel and they actually put the shirts on a website and I won't even have to uh, lug them around or anything like that so um if anybody's interested in a t-shirt they should be done in like three or four weeks um and i'll post a video of them or post them in the videos that kind of stuff they're gonna have the bus on them as well as the car and all our sponsors so i just want to say uh thank you for all the people that support me um i really do appreciate it uh, i'm not really used to having fans in the stands i'm really a nobody but uh, it's really cool to have uh, people tagging me in live videos and that kind of stuff. Um, I, I really appreciate it. And uh, so we're going to keep on doing what we do here on Nothing But Dirt. Go up to Illinois, show them boys what a uh, RTR parts performance shawl can do. And um, Ryan Tool is going to, I think I think we'll have a pretty good show up there. Um, there's only 60 cars locked in. And um, I just hope that they get everything they want out of the experience and maybe next year we'll take two cars with that being said catch y'all later like comment subscribe